What is alpha and beta carbon in organic chemistry? If you're diving into the world of organic chemistry, you might have come across terms like alpha and beta carbon, but what do they really mean? Let's break it down in a way that's easy to understand. In organic chemistry, the terms alpha and beta carbon are used to identify specific carbon atoms in relation to a functional group. So, what is a functional group? It's a group of atoms within a molecule that gives the molecule its unique chemical properties. To find the alpha carbon, you need to identify the functional group first. The alpha carbon is the carbon atom that is directly attached to this functional group. For example, in a molecule with a carbonyl group, like in aldehydes, ketones, or carboxylic acids, the alpha carbon is the carbon right next to the carbonyl group. Now let's talk about the beta carbon. The beta carbon is the carbon atom that is attached to the alpha carbon. In other words, it's the second carbon atom away from the functional group. So if you have a chain of carbon atoms, the alpha carbon is the one right next to the functional group, and the beta carbon is the one right after that. Here's a simple way to visualize it. Imagine a chain of carbon atoms like a line of people. If the first person in the line is holding a special badge, the functional group, that person is the alpha carbon. The next person in line who is right behind the first person is the beta carbon. In amino acids, for instance, the alpha carbon is the central carbon that has both the carboxylic acid group and the amine group attached to it. This alpha carbon plays a crucial role in the structure and function of proteins. The difference between alpha and beta carbons is not just about their position. It also affects their reactivity. Alpha carbons are generally more acidic because they are closer to the functional group, which can pull electrons away from the alpha carbon. This makes the hydrogen atoms attached to the alpha carbon more likely to be involved in chemical reactions. Beta carbons, on the other hand, are less acidic and less reactive because they are further away from the functional group's electron withdrawing effect. This means that the hydrogen atoms attached to beta carbons are less likely to participate in chemical reactions. In summary, understanding alpha and beta carbons is key to navigating the complex world of organic chemistry. By identifying these carbons relative to functional groups, you can predict how molecules will behave and react in different chemical environments. So next time you see these terms, you'll know exactly what they mean and how they fit into the bigger picture of organic chemistry.